I'm Dill. And I'm Odd. And this is part two of Bunnies, Fiverr, and Pipkin. Recently, since we stopped the video, cut it, we've had some very energetic outbursts from Fiverr and mostly Pipkin. But still, see, we've got a. Seems to like the camera a bit. Just exploring around. But yeah, we've had many energetic outbursts recently. He's gotten under that table over there. That was pretty nice. Let's see if we can get him to do that again. Oh, hi, Fiverr. And they're basically just, you know, relaxing, hanging out, going around. So, I mean, if people, if you really are interested in buying a bunny or adopting a bunny, we say can, it's a good deal. I consider you buy. It's cheaper. And they're not, like, they don't have bunny mills, like puppy mills. They don't have bunny mills. But if they do, possibly, please do not buy from them. Do you, re you really wouldn't want to hurt these people. You know, they, we don't even want to explain on the show what they do to them. Yeah. And explain to them, but please, we discourage you from buying from any mills of any other animal. And that animal. So I mean, these kind of animals, like Fiverr and Pipkin here, we've been watching for the past few videos. If you continued, these kind of animals, energetic, fun, just peace loving, would go around and be captured, and brought back to a mill and being forced, and then they give birth and they just be completely. And they Court. constantly do this over and over and over until you're, they die. Or they're sold, which is, they're lucky if they're sold. Yeah, it's better being sold in another family than a mill because it is absolutely terrible treatment. The only reason is just more bunnies. I mean, if you buy from a place that doesn't, if you can please ask before you buy a bunny if it's from a mill or not. Well, you couldn't really ask because even the employees don't know where it's from. And mills are usually, uh, oh, just... we have a problem here, but, um, yes, please just do your research, basically, just do your research. Like, dogs, we... don't buy dogs, they're from puppy mills. Yeah, those are bad. They're what was, they're what Dill was basically explaining earlier, the treatment and what they do. It's the same for every animal, basically, if... You've never heard of a bunny mill because we haven't. But, you know, with the world going on, we never know what's going on. So. Exactly. We just wanted to discourage that. And buying a bunny, it's a very... You have to be very, very energetic. You have to very well take care of them because... Bunnies well, are a big responsibility. And, um... When you get a bunny... Handle them a lot. Like, hold them, pet them, get them used to human... Humans touching them because if you don't, they're gonna be afraid of humans and then they're gonna bite you and it's gonna be a pain. So yes, you have to be very, you have to really take the responsibility up. I mean, uh, just basically, you have to be there for them. Exactly. They need food, water. They're recommended to take out once per day. Yeah, once per day for at least a thirty-minute period. So we very much would like if. If you buy a bunny, just treat them well. Um, if you buy a bunny, you could buy it at PetSmart. Um, it's probably cheapest at PetSmart. When it's on sale, it's about $30. Uh, it's a large outdoor playpen. It, it's kind of small for two bunnies. And even small for one bunny. It's meant for small animals like ferrets and stuff. But it's called a small outdoor play indoor outdoor playpen. And you could just stake it into the ground. It comes with um, stakes. And you could just set it in the ground. And uh, bring your bunnies out into it. And they could just run around in there. Yes, so, they need, a, they need a lots of room to take energy. And bunny runs and such. And please don't think if you're going to do this. That you're not going to have to put some money into it. Because the cage easily is about, what would you say? Uh, like 800 No. Oh, 800 <laughs> It's like $30. $30. Well, some cages, like the one we have here. I think it estimated it's sixty. No, it was forty dollars. Um, see, you can. They. This is a my super pet. I don't know. They're they're probably the cheapest brand. It's called my super pet. Uh, what you do is it. It's this. They have starter kits and it comes with food, bedding, uh, water canteens in the uh cage. But usually, from our experience, that. Starter kits, they usually like, they usually don't like to very much give you the cheapest price. They're better to actually buy individually. Exactly. So, 
Yes, yeah, so you're gonna have to buy, I'd say, about one pack of hay every three months. Um, well, this bag of hay right here, this bag of Timothy hay, will probably last two weeks, maybe two more, weeks. depending on how much or how often you feed it. See, body. as you've known from what I've been saying here, I don't know as much as odd. So, if you get that part. But, yes, yeah, so you're gonna have to buy stuff like food and bedding, and they have to be changed about every. Three to four days, four days tops if you're going to change the bedding because, well, like we were saying earlier about the sanding and water, the reason that happened is because my sister didn't have the time to clean the cage, so it was a little too dirty, so she washed the bunnies. But, um, yeah, three to four, four days tops if you're going to clean the cage because I highly doubt they like sanding and poo and pee, so... Yeah, it's very unhealthy conditions. So, yes, I think we're going to have to cut the video short, but just a few short tips. As you can see here, if I, if I, blah, as I've been showing you in the past when we've been talking, you see they're energetic birds. They don't last very long, now do they? No. Because they're all lying down now. They're ready to go to bed. So I think we're going to cut this video, and we're going to put them back in their cage so they can get some sleep. So, once again, I'm Dill. And I'm Odd. And this has been a Dill Odd production. Thank you for watching.